This is called a heartfelt holiday message. Okay, hi, my name is Troy LaValle, and I'm a complex man with simple needs. Before I get started, let me say that I am a disabled veteran, I am spiritual, and I say ha happy holidays, season's greetings, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Feliz Navidad, or whatever greeting goes with the many assorted holidays celebrated in December, if I can identify them. I come from a background where I had an abusive father who suffered terribly from undiagnosed PTSD from Vietnam, and his family suffered deeply for it. I was raised Catholic, but my father had a falling out with the church. It is safe to say that I am not religious, but I care about my fellow man because of my spirituality and my military experience. Amazingly, through it all, he managed to raise us with an incredible set of values and moral fiber. When I use these greetings, it isn't that I'm trying to snub Christians. It is because I am trying to be inclusive and recognize that our nation is home to so many and such a diverse amount of other cultures. I do not stand on or for racism and division, and I don't like it when I see it or hear it. I love the holiday season, but at the same time, I detest it. This is the time of year that brings out the very best and the very worst in people. Suicide rates go up, tolerance at times goes way down, and too many people get offended when they aren't addressed with Merry Christmas because it is, because it is somehow a snub to their religious faith where political correctness is somehow killing the fabric of America. Here's the way that I see it. America isn't just the red, white, and blue. She is an incredibly intricate tapestry of culture, a coat of many colors, if you will. She provides comfort and shelter to so many who have come to her in their hours of need. I will not lie and say that I'm perfect, and I'll admit that there are times when I had character flaws and prejudices because I was a kid raised in the 70s. However, so much of my worldly view was changed when I went to combat and served abreast with some of the greatest men and women of many religious backgrounds and cultures. I am proud to say that I was a member of 267 Armored Battalion, the Iron Dukes, 3rd Armored Division, 7th Corps, and we were among the best. I learned a valuable lesson about blood and humanity in those days and the years that have followed. I understand that we all bleed red, and as diverse as we are, there are commonalities that we all share regardless of our backgrounds. The hardest part for me when it comes to the end of the holiday season is when the season ends, the greatest portion of the holiday spirit ends, and we go back to our own selfish ways of life. My deepest holiday wish is that we would carry that good spirit throughout the rest of the year that we would recognize the suffering of others and we would look out for our fellow man. How beautiful would it be if we approached the world with love and compassion in our hearts rather than turning our backs. In the coming year it would do my heart wonders if others reached out to help others without worrying about what's in it for them. Entirely too many people go without helping because they believe that others are lazy. Somehow they deserve to be in their situations or they're possibly looking to scam them. It's a sad sign of the times. In the coming year, I ask that you open your hearts, give and help others when you can, without worrying about being scammed or what's in it for you. It is not our place to sit in judgment, nor is it our place to determine who is scamming and who is not. Thank you for your time. Merry Christmas, or whatever greeting goes with your holiday season and festivities.